I was going through a domain transfer today so I thought I'd make a quick recording so that everybody could understand how to follow this process if they've never done it before. I'm going to be transferring a domain over from one of my other registrars into GoDaddy. So if you do have a GoDaddy account this will fit you well. If you have any other type of hosting account the principle is the same um, but obviously the steps taken will be a little bit different. So uh, here I am in my GoDaddy account. I'm just going to run through this step by step kind of quick like so that everybody gets an idea what they need to do. Uh, it's a pretty simple process. You know, under their all products you're going to go to the domains. You're going to want to transfer a domain which in the process you're going to gain a free extra year of hosting that domain uh, with GoDaddy when you go ahead and set it up. So I'm going to go in and start a domain transfer. Now mine's already begun but just for an example I want to show you what might be a specific way of moving a domain over and I'm going to give an example actually of a US domain because this actually has a couple of extra steps involved. So if I hit go it's going to show that the domain is available for transfer. Now if I had one that was already existing on this particular registrar or I didn't have the rights to move it would tell me right off the bat that it was unavailable and I'll give you an example of that here uh, this says that radar.com which is also one of my domains would not be available for transfer so in this case vintage best is one that I could go ahead and proceed to check out with if I wanted to uh, being that it's a US domain I would have to confirm a couple things in the process which I've already done because I've been through this step uh, just processing this video Basically, they're going to go to the standard checkout procedure, unit price. You're going to get the extra year when you check out. You can obviously upgrade for charity and, and add that extra penny or so to round up to the nearest dollar. And, of course, this is just the standard checkout process. Nothing really needs to be said with regards to how to sign out of here. Obviously, you're just going to enter your credit card information or your PayPal account. Uh, agree to a couple of terms by checking some boxes, and then you're going to move on from there. Now, what happens in this process is you're going to receive several emails in order. First one you're going to get of course is the receipt for your payment to GoDaddy. Next one's going to be a, a typical standard order confirmation, a little more detailed than the first. Then you're going to receive a transfer acknowledgement. This is going to come to the original account that you're starting from to let you know that you're going to complete the transfer. Now it's going to tell you what steps you can take if you need some more information. It's going to tell them that they've also sent an email to the contact email that is on record at the existing registrar under the administrative contact billing and technical portion of the account. You want to make sure that the email account you have on record for your other registrar is active and available otherwise you're not going to be able to receive certain emails. At this time I had actually already forwarded my email to my Gmail account so I would make sure I would definitely receive these emails. So the second email I'm going to get is the domain name transfer initial authorization for the request transfer. Basically the domain gets listed. I get an email at the original registrar that says okay this is what you need to do and what it's giving me is a transaction ID and a security code that's needed. This was actually sent from GoDaddy to the original registrar under the email contact on account so that this could be approved in the process. Now the way we approve that because it figures you own both these domains it's going to have you log into the GoDaddy account and then follow the final instructions. So that I'm still already activate, active in here if I go to my actual account uh, in GoDaddy you have the domain lists of the domains you own and then right next to that there's a tab to transfer. You can see here the domain I'm transferring is actually already listed here because I've started the process and it wants me to enter the transaction ID and security code. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this process on GoDaddy so I can continue with the transaction. It's going to give me the current registrar that it has been initiated through the administrative email of the other registrar. Now I'm in step two where I need to actually authorize this particular transfer so I need to get the transfer IDs. So in the domain menu I'll click on pending transfers. There we go. Now under the pending transfers it's going to tell me there's an action required and that's to authorize the transfer of this domain. So if I go to authorize a box pops up. It says action required. Authorize the transfer now. I'm going to go ahead and authorize that transfer. 
and it's going to ask for the transaction ID and security code. So I'm going to go back here. I'm simply going to copy and paste these transaction codes. Oh, and I always do that. It tends to lose that box for some reason. Let's see if I can get that box back. I'm going to have to do this one at a time. Let's get in here. For some reason it does that. I'm not certain why those windows close automatically, but it's probably a good idea to have that over in a separate text file just to make it easy to do. Let's see if I can get to that without having to redo that box, although I may have to. Because if I have it in something behind, let's move this window out of the way for a second so I can actually get to them without blocking the window. Just get it over to the side here. Okay, that'll allow me to get in there. Now copy this other security code, pop that in the box. And I, if I had more than one domain being moved, I could go ahead and add other transfer IDs. But in this case, it's just the one domain. And now it's seeking the authorization code. Now the authorization code literally comes from the other registrar. Now you will always receive the email for the auth code. Okay, here's where I need to go to get the auth code. In order to get the auth code for the domain, I need to go here. Enter my domain management login information. And once logged in, click domain extras. And that should display the domain auth code. So I'm going to go ahead and open this in another browser link. And I need to get into here in order to do so. So I'm going to need to enter that domain that I'm dealing with. My username and the password for the account, which would all be on record. So over here we can get to the domain extras, just as they mentioned. And here is the domain auth code. Now this is kind of a freaky series of numbers and symbols and letters. Uh, it's always different for every account, so you need to make sure you copy and paste this completely and exactly like it's received. And by entering this auth code, this is telling GoDaddy that you have total ownership of this account and that you can prove that you um, are initiating this transfer completely. So you need to authorize that transfer of the domain um, in this list and not to hold on to it. So that's telling the other registrar to go right ahead and continue this process. So we enter next there. All domains have been submitted, and that's really about it. It says here it can usually take less than five minutes. Uh, however, it can take up to 30 minutes to complete, and the time frames are estimate, not guaranteed. Now, it can take up to seven days for your other registrar to complete the transfer. Now, typically nowadays, it, that used to be the norm, but nowadays with the electronic age and hosts and, and servers as fast as they are, and really a lot of people hosting from the same types of accounts, GoDaddy is probably one of the largest account holders in the country. So what you find is a lot of other registrars actually buy their domains from GoDaddy. So you may find that this transfer would take place within minutes at times. I've had um, domains transfer in under five minutes. So uh, what we can do to confirm that and we can follow along in this process at any time. Uh, if we go back to our main account page to check up on the domain, uh, we can come back into the domain aspect of the switchboard. And we can either follow up on the transfer here. And you can see here we need to accept that transfer with the current registrar. Now that means that there's obviously another email likely that went out to the other account. So let's go check our inbox real quick. Uh, nothing here as of yet so we may receive another email shortly and when we do we'll try to add that to the account uh, the other thing you can always look for here is um, oh, and one recommendation you'll always want to update the domain name servers prior to the transfer this makes things go much smoother uh, and what I mean by that is if I have a particular domain name for instance let's go with let me pull up my other one here. I'll pull up my registration for the one with a very similar name. Uh, we'll go with this one. And what you'll find is the domain name servers for GoDaddy are typically ns03domaincontrol.com and nso4domaincontrol.com, depending on where you're at in the state or the, the United States, I should say. These numbers can obviously be different. 
Another thing to consider that's very important before you start a domain transfer is to have your domain unlocked. At SiteSell, uh, I can go to this tab here and it's going to show me that my domain is currently unlocked. Uh, if you don't, some registrars allow you to do this yourself, but some you have to contact directly to have them unlocked for you. So I uh, just wanted to point out that bit of information before we proceeded. And from there, we just need to get over to our domain name servers so we can continue the process. But here you'll see the text for the name servers, um, and you can see that prior to this transfer, I had already switched my server host names over to the GoDaddy name servers. So this will make the transfer go much quicker. Obviously, it used to be a site cell domain, so that's where the name servers would have been pointed originally. And now that we've gotten this all taken care of, all I need to do now is wait for site cell to transfer the ownership of the domain over to GoDaddy and I'll have full access to it in my control panel over here. So I hope that uh, helped a few of you folks out there that aren't familiar with the domain transfer process. And if you have any questions, you can always reach me, Leland at bestatlast.com, and I'd be happy to help. So from me and all the rest of us over here at Best at Last, you guys have a great day and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Take care.